Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I'm just crafting up the parts for my new multi block, and I swear this is going to be the last one I built. <laughs> but uh, the electric implosion compressor, because doing all the infinity ingot stuff is holy cow that use a lot of explosives so i figured why not go ahead and get the electric implosion compressor and i'm having a bit of an issue with my ores and i'm not sure what is causing it but for some reason when i quit it is not saving the ore that i've gathered so i had about eight hundred thousand, and when i quit the world i came back in and i was way down again it's so like 200,000 ore, and I'm not sure what's causing that. If I'm doing something, or a backup is causing this issue, or something, but yeah, when I quit, like all my stuff had dropped way back, but the world hadn't reset. So, like, everything that I had done, like built, was, um, had been saved, but for some reason, the storage drawers, it seemed like the storage drawers hadn't saved. So, anything in the storage chest, I f it felt like, that hadn't saved. So not sure quite what is going on with that. Um, we'll have to maybe see, cause that is not fun to let the world kind of run and collect resources and then jump back in and absolutely nothing has increased from the time. Um, but anyway, I have gone ahead and oops, expanded out here just a small little building here the only thing that's going to be in this is the implosion compressor um, because it needs uev power if we look at the infinity it's the cosmic neutronium but uh yeah this needs that so we can get it through using it &T. Or we can use the electric component, but it does require UEV power. So I did have to set up like a whole new kind of thing here. And oops, I had to light this up. I have a UEV line. I've completely upgraded this line. So I put a couple transformers going into the other things, but this has been completely upgraded all the way from the power station. So can actually hook this up. This is not hooked up yet. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. All right, no explosions. Let me just double check that everything is running. Yeah, all right, so it's running. I totally forgot to hook it up, but yeah, that entire line has been upgraded to handle UHV. This is UHV line. So... I'm going to do two energy hatches, and I'm assuming two UHV energy hatches on here. I'm assuming will work with the implosion compressor. But uh, we need to get this going. Because... I need the... I need this multi-block... Uh, yeah, thing. That thing is super laggy as well, so hopefully the electric one isn't as laggy. Uh, this yeah so implosion compressor blocks the neutronium long osmium rod osmium ring and then 64 pistons that is that's a lot <laughs> i think it took 3000 americium to craft that up so that was something but we need 10 solder noun i think it's 10 10 and 10 if uh, I did the math, I could spell. So 10 of that, and then I think it was neutronium, wasn't it? I don't remember. Is that neutronium? Yeah. 10, 10, and 10, right? 10, 10, 10, yeah. And we're only doing this once, so don't have to worry about and then Steve Sector manager or anything. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and 
get this stuff. I'd probably just put it in these, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Just, I think. Oh, that's not what I want, though. <laughs> we'll put... Yeah, I'll put one ingot's worth in each if I leave them in there. That's a bit annoying. Oh, well. They all empty out. Uh... The same. All right, let's go get this thing going. Soldering osmium neutronium. Soldering. Osmium. Neutronium. Just that. All right, so hopefully when we throw this in the data bank, that will start. All right, there we go. But as we can see, a 6,000 second recipe, so that's, that's a thing. And these recipes, way too long. Crafting recipes, that is, insane like why like because all the people are ex spamming explosion compressors is that why that recipe so long like yeah all right anyway uh i guess we'll just um well i can go ahead and craft up i guess some of the other parts of it it's not electric implosion let me put it over side I can see it. So layer one and nine solid machine casings, one energy hatch in the middle. Oh, I only put one energy hatch on this. I mean, that's not the end of the world. I can do a UEV energy hatch. I mean, they're, they haven't been changed. So it's super easy to make. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do this with the transformer, which and I hope the transformer works. I feel like I heard it is bugged at the moment. If it does, like, we're going to have some issues here, actually. If the UHV to UEV one doesn't work. All right. Um, yeah, that worries me a little bit, actually. Middle link. Nickel, zinc, ferrite blocks, and nickel, zinc, ferrite blocks. Yeah. Well, that's easy enough. I mean, I make those. So it looks like I need four of those. Lowers four, five, and six are solid neutronium blocks. Why do I have 43 blocks of Nikwata? What was I doing with that? I have no idea. Neutronium blocks. I miss... Which neutronium is it? Now I'm... Uh, is it that one? That's going to be a bit annoying. Because <laughs> I just broke the implosion compressor. And I can't make that stuff without it. Gosh dang it. I mean, the implosion compressor is easy. I can just craft up another one, but I thought I was done with that. Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be neutronium. It's going to be this one, I'm assuming. I would. I'm going to test this, though, so I don't have to craft up another one. Yeah, let me test this a little bit here. Um, I need to test the energy hatch as well. If one energy hatch, I can't put two energy hatches on it.
One input bus, one output bus. At any solid steel machine. Yeah, that worries me a little bit about the Energet. All right, uh, let me do some crafting up here and a little bit of testing. And we'll come back and build this thing up in 65 hours or 6,000 seconds. All right, I am back and I have done a bit of testing and it does look like the um, the transformers are bugged. Cannot get it to output any power, even though it has it in the transformer. So there is a, another option, which I did find out just a day or two ago. That is a transformer from Tech Tech which is actually a thing, and this could actually be kind of cool. So I think we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see if uh, see if this will do what we want. So basically what we want, and find it, energy, there it is. Yeah, and then we need this. Superconducting coil. All right, uh, basically what we want this to do over the transformer is gonna be over here, is input the UHV power and change it into UEV. So we can send it into the UEV energy hatch. And the way I think this works is basically you just input and then output and i'm kind of assuming we're going to need four uhv to get one out i don't really know because i've never actually used this the block i just realized we probably need energy hatch for that and i'm getting some of the blocks crafted up here or the implosion compressor. Yeah, I still have quite a bit to do. The neutronium blocks I've been putting off because I did need to get the impression or implosion, the old one again, to have that set back up. But uh, yeah, all right, uh, UEV. This thing is so easy to craft up. All right. So that's going to go there because it does say one energy hatch in the middle. And let's see, I guess we just have this directly underneath. So that would be the center. No, actually, why don't we? Oh, I'll do so we can see the blueprint, but it's a, just basically a three by three. It's actually really easy to craft up. Do I have the blueprint? Yeah, I do. So if we put down the active transformer, which actually wasn't even that bad to do, made a couple of recipes for energy flow circuit is just CPM. So it's actually pretty easy. I finally went ahead and um, got recipes for it. So do that and so we can see it's just a three by three. And each of these can be either energy input output hatches or high power casings. So, and superconducting coil right in the middle. So, I mean, that is, doesn't get much easier than that. Question is, how do I want to, I guess, actually, I don't want that there. I think I want that here. And then I guess we could just do, how about UHV on the side? Now, I don't know if there's like, um, I have no clue if there is like an internal buffer on this thing or anything. So we are just kind of learning as we go here. Uh, I have heard it works, so that is good because some of these tech tech stuff do not work. Apparently this one does. So there's that, and then I guess we'll just do Dynamo on the top. That 
Should do that. Yeah. I think this is the one I was using for UEV. I can't remember. But yeah. So that's UEV, UHV. And then the rest is just it's casings. And I gotta go a bit slow here because placing multi blocks. Yeah. Even if it's not hooked up, it's still gonna struggle a bit. So I gotta go kind of slow. Just do two or three blocks and then kind of let it figure itself out. It basically shoots my CPU up to 100% uh, when I place certain multi blocks. Not every multi block does it. Um, I placing before the quantum computers that I placed before didn't do it. I have a feeling because I actually connected that. Maybe I'm curious if we disconnect it. Yeah, no, it's dropping. I may be, yeah, dropping frames there. So I gotta be careful with that because. The, um, the encoding for my the video, my recording might get messed up. All right, but I mean, oh, there it goes, running perfectly. It's on. We taking power. Kind of curious. It does have power. Does this have power? That does have power. Does this have power? It has power. Nice. All right. So there we go. That has that. Now we need to set up the rest of this multi-block here. And I don't even really need access to the basement. Oh yeah, I do. Because I'm going to have, I need to build my A system. Or at least get it connected to a so more cables. And we'll run the cables over here. Maybe to like right underneath, maybe. Um this may cause problems as well, actually. So maybe I'll cut here so we don't have like yeah, it's dropping my dropping my FES pretty far down. I'm probably uh, probably freezing the recording. Uh, let me cut here and we will come back. All right, I uh, did a little bit of testing here and wanted to point out a couple of things. One, it looks like we need. I misread this. We need an energy hatch on layer one and layer nine. And I don't know if they will both pull power, but uh, I don't think it will form. It won't form unless you have this energy hatch up here. Now, the other thing though is I noticed when I was doing this and actually these Regular blocks of neutronium actually work, so you don't need the cosmic ones. Let's just put these down. And that seems to be okay. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, but if we look, it's not forming. And that caused me a bit of issue, but it looked like if I put it down after it's been built, it does form. So uh, just keep that in mind. You have to place the controller last for it to a form. Now, throw those away, away. That um, we need the P to P tunnel because I made another one there. We need a couple interfaces. Actually, no, we do we? Now I have them over. 
I have them over on the thing. Well, I always need interfaces. Let's just craft some more. Let's craft a bit more. Yeah. Um, question is, if I turn this on, is it going to pull from power from both? Do both need to be connected to this? And uh, I'm actually not sure how that's going to work. Um, because we're transforming this up. So I had planned to only put one in here, the UEV, and these recipes require UEV, or are we are we going to be overclocking to the next tier? Actually, it will say on it, won't it? Ah, yes, it's UIV. All right, so that's actually not what we want to do. Well, let me think. Are we doing? No, I guess we're pulling six. We can pull sixteen amps. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we really need to. Well, that's annoying because I built this multi, this cool transformer. Um, but if we don't even need it, we can just do UHV. Yeah, that's because this is already fast enough. I don't. We don't really have to worry about overclocking it. I think we'll just do. I'm just trying to think. I think if we're pulling 16 amps of UHV, it's going to be too much. Is the issue? I think. Um. Yeah, I think we might want to switch these. Man, that's a bit annoying. I really wanted to test out this multi-block, but uh, I do have plans for this uh, coming up here sooner than later. So I guess what we're going to do is break this down and just hook up both the things, which is kind of ugly, to be honest, having a wire come up here as well. Not a huge fan of that. But uh, all right, so let's... Yeah, let's just double check. Pull that out. Switch it. First, it's probably not going to form. Let's see if that doesn't form again. Yeah, see, it's not forming. Even though it's saying it's formed, that's clearly not formed. You take it and place it down again. Should form. Yeah, there it goes. And I'm assuming this will be UEV. Yeah, all right. So I think that's what we're going to do. Dang it. But uh, all right. So we got a little preview of this <laughs> transformer. And uh, yeah, I kind of wish I knew about this earlier because it was actually pretty cheap. And we probably could have used it in other places. But uh, I do have something I want to... I do have a plan to use this eventually, but all right, let me break this down and get this hooked up to the UHV cable and we will be back. And we're back and I'm just pulling the two of these out and I may need that one actually, but most of these probably don't need because this is all for like rockets and stuff, but we may need them. I need that one. Like all these, I don't need them at all. So let's go on and these over here. I got this all connected like that. We got the P2P. I did a P2P with just two, there's just two channels on it, but I figured why not. Okay, so I think oh, I need to do quick maintenance. And hopefully that is everything correct. Make sure that's UEV, which it is. Okay, I guess... Um, Let's do, let's 
do, I don't know, 10 of these ingots. Let's see, it should put them in there. Yep. And it's probably gonna go fast. Um, right, so that's a thing. That was definitely a thing. <laughs> did we, did it work? Yeah, it did, all right. That's awesome. Um, let's do a bit more, let's do 10 more. I wanna watch that. That's hilarious. I did see this, do not obstruct or mine the moving parts while in operation. And I was like, what moving parts? I've never seen a, uh, Direct tech multi block move. But uh yeah, apparently it does something. Alright, and don't don't mind those or they will explode. But uh there we go. There is the implosion compressor. Now I think I don't have a anchor here yet, we'll have to do that one. I think I have Ooh, it's going to be close. I think I have enough for another to run. Actually, I have right there. That's we do. All right, so we need. I'm just kind of curious. We need two thousand two hundred eighty-four, hundred eighty-five thousand. Well, even more because we have twenty already, and thirty-three thousand infinity catalyst. That's good to know. How many infinity colors we have? 36. So, all right. Do that. And, uh, yeah. We, this should be dropping by quite a bit. Yeah, there it goes. All right. But that's cool. I am pretty stoked with that. Now, I was getting about 80 FPS over here. Yeah, I think it is a bit laggy, to be honest. Oh well, FPS is definitely in the base. It's definitely dropping at this point, but uh, man, that feels pretty good though. This implosion compressor. Let me. Yeah, it feels like my FPS is, has dropped a bit. All right, but I'm assuming it is pulling from both. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I'm happy with that because that would be doing thousands. Wow, it actually it's going faster than the interface can keep up. Not the end of the world. I could change it. Maybe I'll change it next time. Ooh. Well. Yeah, maybe change it to like um, do more piles, do seven, like 63 at once or something like that. Maybe I'll do that. How many are in a... I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's pretty much staying on full time, but yeah, it kind of... There's a little bit pause in between though, isn't there? So it's 81, I think, per at 81. Yeah, nine of those for this, and then we need nine of these for that. So yeah, it's 81. Maybe I'll set it to like do 81 piles at once, but uh anyway. That is about it for this episode. I'm going to continue crafting up this stuff, but uh, I wanted to get another turbine going, as if we do that, I could probably get... Maybe not. I was thinking... Could possibly do faster world accelerators. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.